Hey guys, welcome back. First, I want to thank all of my subscribers for their support here on the channel. Your patience during this rather sparse H1Z1 updates is appreciated. Thank you all. Today, we're taking a look at the update notes for March the 14th. The team was kind enough to offer us three crate unlocks as a token for players who have stuck with the alpha. This also applies for those who play on the test server. So be sure to tell your friends, clans, and guilds to log in and claim a few items. This particular update is chock full of optimization updates. Rendering performances has been improved. The team lowered the number of checks for NPC relevance. So we'll have to see if that means we'll see less or more of certain NPCs. This also includes a proxy check to help improve performance. Wolf run speed was reverted to the original setting. At one time we could outrun wolves as I recall. However, I didn't test the actual speed to see if that adjustment goes back as far as early alpha days when we could outrun them. Punchy Sticks received a little attention in this update to ensure the proper damage is being distributed to both players and zombies. A number of fixes were applied to bases to include security fixes and to ensure that approved players aren't getting kicked. Non-structure player items can no longer be placed on deck expansions or on top of player structures. Although this update included optimization improvements, I was experiencing low frame rates while in city areas. And to round things off, the team has made comprehensive anti-cheat and exploit countermeasures. You can find even more information pertaining to this update at the H1Z1DB website, a comprehensive database of game-related news, interactive maps, and all the specific details to improve your game experience. Be sure you stop by and add them to your bookmarks. That's been your quick look at the update notes for March the 14th. Thank you to all those who have been part of the channel. I appreciate your participation in spreading the message about the channel. If you're a frequent visitor or have just arrived, be sure you click that watermark in the bottom right hand corner so you'll be subscribed. This will allow you to get all the latest news out of Daybreak and H1Z1.